It wasn't long ago that I put out a Zoom F6 video based on firmware updates and more specifically the 1.5 firmware update. The 1.5 firmware update was the first one that I applied to my Zoom F6 uh, after getting it and having it for a while. And if you've seen it, I just put out my Zoom F6 one year anniversary, the one year that I've had this device, and it's been an amazing application to my career and my creation of all types. And I go into all the specifics of what I've learned, what I have acquired in skill and all that stuff. So after this, in this playlist, it's in there. You can go check that out. But recently I found out that of course, as soon as I put out that 1.5 update video, not like two, three weeks later, they put out a 1.6 update. I didn't know because I had recently just checked and I didn't think anything of it. But now here I am with 1.6 and I know as of the recording of this, I know that it's 1.6 is the most recent update. And I'll give you one further, a viewer who I've been talking to in the comments, let me know that he just got a new Zoom F6 recently within the last couple weeks, and it comes with the 1.6 update. Not to say that you can't update it further, but that's what they're shipping with right now. So what I'm gonna do is cover the 1.6 update and a couple of other things that have popped up over the past couple of months with that 1.6 update. Uh, because there are certain things on my end that I have noticed differently about the Zoom F6. And I've alluded to it in some videos, but I'm going to really dive a little deeper into it in this video. Before we get started, if you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to talk about the Zoom F6, the firmware updates, just about anything, tech gear, and all that stuff, as I usually do. And if you want to ask me more directly, I stream on the channel and on Twitch every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, and later in the day, around 4 or 5 o'clock, I start on this channel, do some dot to dot art. Uh, recently, I found a couple of other books, so we're going to be doing that for the foreseeable future on here. And it's a good thing. It's nice. It's therapeutic. I listen to music, talk to you guys, answer questions, all that stuff. It's a good time. It's fun. Nice, chill, get away from the world kind of stream. And then I switch over to Twitch where I play video games. I'm a little less interactive with the chat but i still am interactive i still answer questions but i'm playing a game so uh it'd be cool if you guys hop in there and we talk about video games or even talk about tech i i'm open to talk about just about anything as long as it's positive uh, i usually try to keep a positive vibe about this channel and my my content so that would be really nice to bring that in with this community uh with you guys reciprocating that positivity and of course, if you found this video helpful, entertaining, or anything whatsoever, please leave a like and consider subscribing. The Zoom F6 1.6 update. What does it do? What does it cover? And uh, what things could it fix for you if you've had these issues? Now, what it's supposed to do, and of course, every situation is different, firmware updates can work and firmware updates can really screw things up so it's a individual basis every time but what it's intended to do is fix the freezing problem when you're connecting to the bluetooth app and the time code sync at once all together i assume i don't use the uh time code uh because i don't have gear that can support that at least on the camera side uh what the issue was they were having the bluetooth and the time code be used simultaneously it can be used simultaneously but there was freezing issues so they updated it and supposedly this fixed it but there's a little bit more who is this for and as i mentioned before i don't have the gear that has time code stuff within my camera i just have it within my zoom f6 so i do things old school clap syncs and all that stuff easy enough i sync it up in adobe premiere it's not a problem whatsoever but for people who do use a time code and do use the bluetooth adapter uh be it with the f control that little mixer thing that they charge a pretty penny for and uh maybe it's worth it but you have your phone and you possibly have an ipad that the app is free so you could do it on that too i mentioned that in my bluetooth adapter 
uh, video, but I won't go into depth with that because that's a separate video. You can go check that out in the Zoom F6 playlist. Now that we got that out of the way, the 1.6 update, who is it for? Let's talk about some things that I've noticed that have changed. And I've talked about it a little bit, but now I'm expanding on it. The first major thing is the three second now used to be six seconds pre-roll and a pre-roll basically means when you press the button it has been buffering six seconds before that and it records the six seconds prior to pressing the button great six seconds was amazing it was it was significantly more than i was used to it was actually double because the h5 i think has a three second now, I don't know if this happened in the 1.5 or the 1.6, but now it's three seconds. I don't know why that was an issue. Here are my theories. One, they might have had some issues with people complaining about it freezing or not being able to buffer or just not plainly just not working. So maybe they lowered it to reduce the amount of of like stress on the hardware or stress on the software that's just my speculation i don't know i'm not in contact with zoom uh if anybody from zoom ever watches this or if you guys want to send this over to zoom and say hey what's up with these situations that'd be cool too i don't know if they'll answer but who knows maybe but regardless the three seconds and a pre-roll is really nice to have regardless if it's six seconds or three seconds I have worked with people who are quick on the trigger and they're like, oh, we're going to take this take and we're going to do it right now. And then you hit it and you're just a second too late and the scene's already on its way. So it's nice to have that pre-roll and the six seconds was really nice. It actually came in handy a couple of times when I was doing shoots before the world went to hell in a handbasket. But the three seconds is enough and it's something to get used to and something that I used to use and now have to use again. I really would love the option to use six seconds again, maybe in the 1.7 or a future update, but if it's not, I'm totally fine with what they offer. Now, if you thought that was a uh, annoying update or annoying change to the software or hardware, depending on how you look at it, this next part is significantly worse. And worse in the sense that it would just, it, it just didn't make any sense. And it just, it's very confusing. I figured it out and now it works fine, but let's talk about it. Connecting to the Bluetooth uh, app with the adapter. The F control app is a free app that you could get. I think one is specific to the F6 and then one of, one of them is specific to the F8. So before, I did either the 1.5 or the 1.6 update. All I had to do was go to the iOS and I went into this in my Bluetooth adapter video, uh, up, uh, just talking about how to connect it and everything like that. So it's on record that I didn't have this problem before. Now, whenever I go to the iOS section of connecting to the Bluetooth, it says iOS up till 12. I think it's like nine to 12, the version one to uh, nine to 12. My problem is if you have a phone or a iPad that is past that, at least this is my speculation because this is what I've experienced. It asks for a passcode. It never asked for a passcode before. This is totally fine. I've had this in the past. I have a Bluetooth uh, keyboard that I use for my iPad and you had to input a password. Great, fine, it's totally fine. But the problem is, when you do that, it puts up a number saying put in this passcode. And then, no keyboard or just a blank screen of uh, without any options to select comes up on the Zoom F6 without any options to put in a passcode. So you're kind of SOL when it comes to it because th there's no way of connecting it. At that point, I thought maybe I'll reinstall the firmware and I reset it. I did faxed resettings. I went all around and I couldn't figure out the issue. So if you have a phone or a iPad with a 14 or technically 13 or 14 or 13 or higher, that iOS will ask for a passcode. 
at least in my situation, the keyboard doesn't come up and I can't enter the passcode. So here is the workaround. There is a option in the Bluetooth section for F control, connect to F control. I tried it through that, it connected, there was no problems and it worked like it used to. So I ain't gonna ask any questions, I know that it works and I haven't had a problem with a passcode or no keyboard popping up because of a passcode. All you gotta do is connect it that way. Same way we did it before, just a different name. So that's about it. That's the 1.6 update on the Zoom F6. And uh, some situations that have arose through this uh, update and things that I've encountered. Uh, maybe you guys have encountered the same thing. If you have, down in the comments, tell me what you've experienced. Tell me like your, uh, anything that you've had to deal with with the Zoom F6 or the app or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to have a conversation about it and talk to you guys about uh, maybe troubleshooting some things in the future if they do come to fruition. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or anything whatsoever, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this, for more Zoom F6, more microphone stuff coming in February. I have some ideas and uh, one of my uh, viewers, one of my subscribers. I really appreciate all the, su the suggestions you gave me and I wrote down a bunch of them and I kind of molded them into video ideas. So I appreciate the suggestions. Uh, they're coming in February. I have a bunch of things that are going to be coming out before the end of the month because uh, I've been working on them for a little while. And then back to microphone stuff, back to talking about uh, untreated rooms. Uh, dealing with gain settings of audio, working with different types of condensers and dynamic, uh, possibly even USB, maybe one day, maybe some 3.5 millimeter options, all on the table. Microphones galore in February. I feel like you're gonna see a good five videos at least of just based around microphones and audio and settings like that. So that's something to look forward to. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please, like I said, subscribe if you're interested. And as I said before, if you have any comments, anything whatsoever, uh, please make it positive. Uh, constructive criticism, <laughs> always uh, welcomed here. And uh, just like I said, please be positive. Uh, this is a very dark world we live in right now. So you need to spread some positivity so that the rest of the world can be brightened up a little bit. So the more that we spread a little more positivity, the better the world could be, maybe in little bite-sized pieces, because this is not a wide-reaching group, but it's a good community. It's a positive community, which I'm very proud of. And then if you want to talk to me more directly, I stream every Wednesday and Saturday now. In the nighttime, four or five o'clock, I start on this channel, dot to dot art, talking to you guys, listening to stream beats. Very, very cool bit of content that allows you to listen to pretty sweet music without having any copyright issues not sponsored but maybe one day i highly doubt it but who knows and that's about it be safe be kind if you go out please wear a mask at least until the world gets back to normal and i will see you in the next video the only thing that I want to do is I want to pet that lemur. And no, that's not a euphemism.